Hey there girls, my name's Nova, and I'm excited for you to go on a space adventure with me and my friend Kayla. Whether you've searched for shooting stars or found shapes in the clouds, you've probably already spent some time looking at the sky. Now's your chance to see the sky in a whole new way, like a space scientist does. Over the next few weeks, we'll take time to investigate and learn about the sun, the moon, planets, and even the stars. Are you excited? Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. My name is Kayla Roloffs and I am the Youth Outreach Manager at Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining us today. Um, today we are going to be talking about outer space. But before we get started, I would love to start with the Girl Scout Promise and Law. So if I could have everybody raise their right hand with their three fingers in the air, and repeat after me. On my honor, I will try to serve God in my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. All right, Brownies. So for the next few weeks, we're gonna be working together to become space explorers and learn about a bunch of different parts of outer space. Today's focus is gonna be on the phases of the moon. So for today's activity, most of what you need should just be laying around your house. But we do have a couple handouts for you to print off if you are able. One of them is the Moon Phases Worksheet, um, which shows the pictures of the moon in different states. Um, we also have a moon handout, which just has a little bit more information about the moon and some fun facts for you to look over. And we also have an observation chart for you to use during the upcoming week and month just so that way you can see the moon at different points. You will also need paper and scissors and either tape or glue just so we can stick our moon onto the paper. Have you ever noticed that the shape of the moon looks like it's changing? It doesn't actually change shape, but it looks like it does. The moon is lit by the sun the same way that Earth is. The moon does not make its own light, it reflects light and the lit portion is the part that we see. And as the moon orbits or moves around the Earth, the sun lights up different parts of it and makes the moon look like it's changing shape. These changing shapes are what we call the phases of the moon. That's right, Kayla. Girls, have you ever noticed how the moon appears to change shape each night? That's because as the moon orbits the Earth, the sun lights up different parts of the moon's surface. So it's just our view of the moon that's changing, not the moon itself. Let's grab our supplies. In this activity, we are going to learn to think like scientists by making predictions. Making a prediction means that you'll look at something and then say what you think is going to happen to it in the future. It's about thinking about how things work. Sometimes predictions are right and sometimes they aren't. Scientists make predictions all of the time and then see different results sometimes. That's how they learn. If we were right all the time, we would never really learn anything. So making mistakes is okay. All right, brownies, let's take some time to cut out our pictures. My one suggestion after having tried this project is to try to keep it in the same order that you see it on your sheet. It just makes it a little bit easier to tell what phase of the moon is what when you're trying to do the next part of our project. So once you're done cutting them out, think about the order that the moon phases go in. We are going to start with the um, phase of the moon that is today. So once you've decided, uh, you can start to glue or tape them to your piece of paper, and then we will talk about what you chose. Remember girls, we're being scientists, so we're making a prediction. It's okay if you're not sure what the moon is tonight, just try your best guess and go from there. Did you know that even scientists aren't entirely sure how the moon formed? That's right, 
They make lots of predictions based on the information they have, just like you're doing. A popular theory is that a Mars-sized rock crashed into Earth around 4.5 billion years ago. The debris from the collision clumped together to make what is now our moon. What kind of theories do you have about how the moon was created? Hey girls, while you work on your predictions for the moon's phases, I'm going to share some more helpful information about the moon. Do you know what it's called when an object travels around another object? It's called an orbit. Do you know that the moon orbits the Earth? Who knows what the Earth orbits? That's right, the sun. That's how the moon gets to reflect light from the sun during part of the day. The temperature on the moon varies from super hot to super cold. When the sun hits its surface, temperatures can reach a scorching 263 degrees. But when the sun goes down, temperatures can plummet to negative 240 degrees. Brrrr. So let's talk about this. What order did you choose and why did you choose it? So today we have a new moon, which looks just like this. Then we have what is called a waxing crescent. Then comes the first quarter. Then we have a waxing gibbous, a full moon, a waning gibbous, the third quarter, a waning crescent, and then we're back to new moon. That whole process takes the entire month. So this activity, we start with the new moon. Then we move to the waxing crescent, and then it is the first quarter moon. A waxing gibbous is next. Then it's the full moon, about halfway through the month. Then it comes the waning gibbous. And then I kind of ran out of room on my paper, but that's okay. Um, it's the third quarter moon next, and then last is the waning crescent. And then after that, we go back to the new moon. So how did you do? Were your predictions pretty close? We would love to see the hard work that you girls put in today, so feel free to snap a pic and upload it to our event page, and that way we can see the wonderful guesses that you girls made. Over the next few weeks, we ask that you take your observation chart and try to go outside either once a week or every day, whatever works best for you and your family, just to go look at the moon. And you can look up in the sky and see the different phases of the moon and draw them on your chart. After your last meeting, you can look back and see how much the moon has changed during our few weeks together. So now that we're wrapping up for the day, I would love for you to share something interesting that you learned today with someone else in your house. It can be another adult or a pet or whoever you feel comfortable with. We just want to see if you learned something new. I hope you join us again next week as we move beyond the moon and explore the planets in our solar system. Thank you so much for joining us today and have a great week. Bye girls, we'll see you again next week.